Hi guys, welcome to a Web Design Tuts Plus quick tip. I'm Adi and today we're gonna build a button. Now it's not a common button, it's one of those go back to top buttons uh, that you see in most modern websites. Uh, when you scroll down the page, a little button will appear in the bottom right corner and when you click it, it's just gonna take you uh, to the top of the page. So we're gonna build one ourselves. It's a very simple technique and we're gonna add some cool animations to it. So let's see what we got so far. We have a simple page that I made. Uh, it's not really important how I styled it. It just has a few paragraphs so we get a very long page. And inside Coda very simple uh, markup. We have an H group holding the two headings, a class container to center everything on the page, and this section which contains all of the paragraphs. Also we have a footer uh, which contains a paragraph and actually this is the place where we need to add our button. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to say A, let's give it a class of go top, href, just a, just a hash, and for text, let's say go top. All right, so now refresh, and there it is. We have a simple button that doesn't do anything yet. Now it's time to style it. So for styling, let's open up Coda again, go to style CSS, where I just have a, a basic reset and also some general styling for, uh, for the layout. Okay, so let's say button, go top. And the very first thing we wanna do is position it right here in the bottom right corner. Also, it must always be visible even though we're scrolling. So it must have a fixed position. So I'm gonna say position fixed. And then I'm gonna put bottom. Let's set it to about two M's. Yeah. And right two M's. Refresh. And there it is. And notice when we scroll, the button the button stays in exactly the same position. All right. Now let's style it even further. So let's say text decoration none. We're gonna do a color. Set it to white. And let's do a background color. Let's set this to an RGBA value, to black, for instance, 0, 0, 0, and about 0.2 or 0.3% in opacity. All right, great. Let's uh, lower the font size a bit. Let's make it about 12 pixels. And let's give it a padding of about 1M. All right, something like that. Let's add a hover state. So go top hover. And we're only going to change the background color here. Okay, so RGBA. Make it a bit darker, like 0.6. All right, and there it is. So when we click this, it uh, should go to the top of the page, but also uh, when I'm at the top of the page, it must be hidden. So we're only going, going to show it when we're about this much into the page. And we're going to do that next with JavaScript. All right, so for JavaScript, 
in the footer of my page, I have included the jQuery library. Currently, it's 1.9.1. .1. And I'm going to add a simple script here. Get rid of the type since it's not required anymore. And I'm going to say this. We'll target the document ready function. So basically, when our page, when our page is finished loading, we're going to do the following. Uh, we're going to show or hide the sticky footer button. So show or hide the sticky footer button. All right. Now, initially, this must be hidden. So let's go back to CSS and set display hidden. Uh, display none. Sorry. <laughs> OK, so now it's gone. So let's show it when we're about this much into the page. And I'm going to say this. We're going to listen to the window scrolling event. So window scroll. And we have a function. OK, that's going to do this. We're going to check if this dot scroll top and this is a function which returns uh, the position of the vertical scroll bar. So we're going to say if scroll top is higher than let's say 200 pixels, then I'm going to show the button. So let's reference it. Go top. Let's do a nice fade in effect. And around 200 milliseconds. So let's see. Refresh. And there it is. Now, when I scroll back up, we should hide it. And I'm just going to put else. Go top, fade out, 200. All right, let's see it. So scroll, here it is, fading in. And we scroll back up, and there it goes. All right, perfect. Now, the last thing we need to do is add some um, scrolling animation to the button because we need we needed to, to do something, right? We needed to scroll our page back to the top. So, right here, animate the scroll to top. All right. So, we're going to say, we're going to reference it. And on click, we have a function which can receive a parameter. Okay, so event. And here's the thing, we want to mm, get rid of all the default events or actions that the button may take. So currently, if I click it, yeah, it's just going to go to to dash. So it basically reloads the page. So we want to prevent that. So I'm going to say event prevent default. Okay, so now when I refresh the page, clicking the button doesn't do anything. All right, now for the animate, it's a very simple method. So we're going to target the HTML and body. And I'm going to say animate. Now animate can receive a series of uh, CSS properties. In my case, I'll just target scroll top, set it to zero, and also I can specify a delay for the animation. So let's put about 300. Okay, refresh, and there it goes. All right, well, that's about it. Of course, you can style this page in any way you want or style the button or you can even create like um, like a sticky bar on the footer 
but the method is basically the same. You listen to the window scroll event, and if the scroll top value reaches a, a certain value, then you fade in the button, otherwise you fade it out. And then for uh, when, you, when you click it, you just do a simple animation to the top of the page. Well, that's about it for today's quick tip. Uh, thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Web Design Tuts for future quick tips and tutorials. This is Adi signing out. Bye-bye.